Hello and welcome to the Alone Show. I'm your host, John May Alone. In this episode, no regulars, because reasons, again. As for our guest, she was raised near the Arctic Pole, but she has moved to somewhere in Virginia in the United States of America. She does content marketing coaching. She's a social media strategist and also helps female entrepreneurs build a system of content that attracts customers when they sleep. Now that is very enticing. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Ilona Sedik. Woohoohoo! That's, that's absolutely right. That's me. <laughs> Thank you for your kind representation, Peter. I'm so thrilled and honored to be here and share my entrepreneurial ups and downs. Sometimes I feel small, more downs than ups journey and uh, thank you thank you so much for having me today you're welcome so how's life uh, as i said before sometimes i clearly believe and it's from my experience that entrepreneurs it's mm, another uh, human uh, sorts of humans or um, you have a specific set of skills or a specific type because you face so many downs you try so many things that um, sometimes it's overwhelming but it's so rewarding at the same time and uh, as you asked me now i'm on the stage on the step of my entrepreneurial journey where everything is right as i want it to be always and i'm successful i have uh, I, I have you <laughs> You, you invite me to this podcast. I, I feel that this is type of success I always uh, wanted. And at the same time, I sometimes I have this voice in my head. Um, is it too much? Uh, are you really enough for this? Are you really going to succeed in this? And it's always at the every step of my way, I hear this voice and... Um, from my perspective, it's very important to find the way to to calm it down, to find this ground uh, under your feet and say, yes, I can do this. This is the hardest thing. Not the instruments, not the specific tools. They are necessary, but uh, this ability to find solid ground under your feet and move forward. This is what I get at this point. <laughs> wow. Impressive. I love it. So, uh, is there anything you're working on or up to recently? Uh, yes, absolutely. I'm one of my, I'm, as you said, um, I'm a social media strategist. I work a lot with the, mainly with female entrepreneurs. I help them to build their brand on social media, create content that attracts uh, actually these um, customers and clients they want to to serve. Because this is very important. That if I help female entrepreneurs and uh, coaches, I mean the service providers, uh, meaning I help others because their main goal is to help other people to thrive, to achieve something. It's my work personally. And of course, I, as a domestic violence survivor, uh, for me, it's very important to be part of nonprofit organizations, help them, that helps uh, domestic violence v uh, victims. So uh, as of now, I am a social media strategist for Shelter House, my local sh Shelter House in my community here in Virginia. So uh, this is also the big part of my work, what I'm doing uh, for the world, how I see I can impact in a good way uh, people around me. Fabulous. So what was life for you growing up? Mm -hmm. It was very interesting, as you said. I grew up near the Art Pole. I was born in Latvia. And I moved to the northern Siberian region of Russia with my parents. And uh, I was raised there. And it's very, it was very, very, very unique experience. Uh, it's very, very rewarding experience um, that 
forms me as a personality. Um, I do love that um, at, from that time I could connect with myself because of severe weather circumstances outside, you have to be get used to be comfortable with yourself. And that was the time when I start to connect with myself and really hear myself, what I really want from my life, how I envision my life, because it's all that I can do. I live in very harsh uh, weather environment uh, climate environment situation uh, plus um, we didn't have a lot of money for even so it's it was um, mainly my vision my dreams books around me that helps me to see the other side of the world that there is something more than I have now I see um, from life of my parents from current, my current life that I had now um, it was uh, it was very nurturing time for me, where I actually find my vision, my my dreams, and uh, that dreams uh, led me to the United States of America. Very sudden and very very unplanned and unexpected. Wow, I see that. Where do you see yourself twenty years from now? Oh wow. It's a very interesting question. I love it because, as I said now, um, I'm a dreamer. Really, I'm a dreamer. And uh, I dream uh, that I can serve more people. I can help more people to find uh, inner power within themselves, to open their heart, to open their skills, abilities to the world, it's social media marketing. It's very mm, simple way how you connect with the world and uh, be helpful to this world. And I really believe that it, I can make a huge impact in this field. And of course, I will continue to uh, write books to create projects. I'm a three times best-selling author. This is also my passion. This is also how I uh, connect, deliver my dreams and ideas my vision to the world and of course valuable tools and instruments that i that i can suggest you to use for your success and uh, of course i envision the world uh, without violence without um, necessity for the people to prove their their right with uh, the I mean, physical power. This is my bold vision for the world. Fantastic. So what got you into being a content marketing coach? Mm, my goal mm, is that I can, through words, I really enjoy connecting with the world through words because I grew up with books. And uh, this is the first thing I, I, I love and I have a unique ability with. So for me, it's very important to connect with the world. And in the way that um, people feel themselves seen and heard, this is my main goal. Because now on social media, you mm, probably see these vanity pictures of people who are very successful. They share their six-figure seven things, whatever figure, business. And uh, this is me. This is how you should operate. My conception of uh, content marketing is the authentic marketing where you can represent yourself as you are with all your flaws, with your all downs, ups, and uh, all mistakes that you did uh, throughout your life and actually be heard and seen by others, be appreciated by others uh, to... To, fi to enter this world of social media with the confidence that they need me here because we are actually need you here. This sense of normalcy, you know, the sense of humanity we all desperately need nowadays on social media for sure. This is my vision. This is my goal for my business and how I can actually help. Nice. 
what's your favorite season? Um, in when I was uh, when I grew up um, near the Arctic Pole, severe weather. Of course, I would say uh, summer. This is my. This is like this is the best part because uh, because it's warm. But now, uh, as I moved to Virginia, I understand that spring is the time when I really can connect with myself. I really uh, feel uh, that this is the time when everything starts to grow, to blossom. And I'm so blessed to live uh, actually even in, in Virginia, but in, in D.C. area. So all this amazing picture that you see from D.C., from cherry blossoms, this is my place and uh, this is the magical time of the year i know uh, it's it's the most wonderful time of the year we all know that it's christmas but for me it's uh, spring for sure hmm okay pretty cool what what kind of music do you often listen to um uh, very nice question i i do love uh, music uh because uh, Actually, music is part of my work because uh, um, I help, as I said, I help uh, female entrepreneurs to create content. Nowadays, content is mainly more attractive content. Nowadays, it's a video, short video form, um, short video, short form video content. Sorry. Uh, talk, uh, YouTube shorts. So I'm... Uh, the biggest part of my work is focused on creating this type of content. So music is the part of the deal for sure. And the music is the secret ingredient, secret sauce of every single reel or short or tick. I actually get together everything from your visuals and from your captions. So music is what I'm working on a daily basis. And I do enjoy that, um, nowadays uh, a lot of uh, amazing creators uh, artists uh, come into the stage and share their vision their ideas from uh, in the musical form and i do love to use uh, just freshly newly released uh, audios for content creation and i do enjoy um, to listen to them and of course uh, the second part of my love it's uh, classical music it's uh, Tchaikovsky it's the best one it's what what I was grew up with was I familiar with because in my family it's uh, it was a tradition to listen to classical music and uh, from all that I listen to I do enjoy Tchaikovsky of course sweet would you rather speak all languages or talk to animals oh wow <laughs> um i have a daughter so i would absolutely know her answer now this is like the first thought that come up into my mind because she is really love enjoy uh, animal world and uh, enjoy to connect with animals just uh the summer 2023 we uh, visited um disney uh animal kingdom and it was like epic epic trip for her as for me uh, i do enjoy connecting with people uh, this is the this is how i um, send myself to the world so i of course i would rather to speak many languages as for now I speak Ukrainian, Russian, um, Arabic, English. Uh, so I want to continue. I, I start to learn French a bit. So I want to continue the journey. So your idea to to know all languages, it's like, I mean. Yeah, I can see that. In fact, I'm learning a couple of languages myself too. I'm mm -hmm. learning about like, I'm learning about 12 at the same time and I've managed to find a way to keep myself on track of that until that for the next few months oh wow it's a great achievement because i know the biggest struggle peter as for me it's um when you actually need to find the person or native speaker uh, offline or online to talk with to nurture this language further for me 
a struggle at some point. That is why my French is not going so well. <laughs> so I, I do feel you. Yeah. There's always like boundaries and limitations. But as long as there's like consistency in learning languages every single day, then you you will be on the right track for sure. Yes, and you're absolutely right. Um, just recently, uh, I have this challenge, 180 days of daily workout, because I find myself after mo I moved to America uh, four years ago and my diet, my uh, lifestyle, everything drastically changed. And it was very um, psychologically, mentally, very challenging time for me. And of course, I cope um, in the very bad way with these uh, struggles with food. So um, again, rather big amount of weight as for me. And uh, it's not only about and purely about how how, how I was, but uh, it's about how I felt. I felt very down, very um, low energy mode. Uh, I wanted to fix it. So. I challenge myself 180 days of daily workouts. Let's do this. As you said, consistency. As you said, you need to learn languages every day. So I said to myself, okay, you will do it every day. And uh, really 15 minutes um, up to one hour, I did it. And it, it absolutely, it, it's life-changing experience for me as for now. Uh, I even... January, continue this challenge. I said, okay, I will add more 90 days to this 180. I'm in, I'm already so pumped up. I'm already want to continue and my energy, my focus, my discipline and my business results growing absolutely. So absolutely consistency is the key. Yes. Yes, indeed. What was the strangest dream you've ever had? Oh, it was a very beautiful dream. Actually, it became a very physical object. I saw my first, uh, the plot of my first book. It's a novel in my dream. And uh, it was... Um, it was a very unusual dream for me. It's very um, sensitive. It was very real, let's say. And I thought at that time, oh, I should, um, I should make a note because I, for sure I will forget um, within a couple of hours. I even do not, will not remember the, everything that happened in my dream. So I did it. I wrote it down, just a slight draft. And then after one year, year and a half, I created a book i published the book and this book becomes a bestseller and uh, i do thankful for that dream and my effort that i put into this because it was again it was very 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 unusual i thought it's something very special something tells me that i need to do this it, more than me it's something that comes from the universe to me and they need to deliver this dream to others. And it's... It... Yeah, I can see that. Would you rather sleep on the wall or sleep on the ceiling? Oh. <laughs> nice. I would rather sleep on the wall because uh, I enjoy the superpowers of uh, do not feel gravity and uh, see the world another angle ah of course what game have you spent the most hours playing mm, unfortunately i do not play any games because i i believe i played all my games that i could even possibly could when i was uh, uh, was when i was a child uh, teenager because again, it was very boring time. It was nothing outside. I mean, it's just cold and snow. And uh, mostly there is no sound even outside. In a couple of hours, you have, you have daylight. So I was inside books. Yes, this is the, the biggest part. And of course, games. And uh, 
when I move to the in other areas when it's possible to be outside, to walk, to enjoy uh, your life, not inside. I definitely use that chance. <laughs> and now um, I'm already glued into my phone, thanks to my work. I do enjoy it. And uh, to put additional uh, burden with the games, for me, it's, it's already coming. So I'm rather go outside and breathe then spend the uh, hour or so with playing, just playing. Fabulous. If you could create your own job title, what would that be? Hmm. Question too. I, Peter, I do enjoy your questions because they are very, very curious, very um, provoking in the good, in the good way provoking, of course. Um, so my title, mm. I, I would go no title, just me. I think it's enough. Okay. Very straightforward. If you could bring back any fashion trend, what would it be? Mm. Um, but which one trend? Fashion trend. Oh. Um, can I go with none? Yeah, none will be all right. <laughs> yeah, because I mm, do believe that if it's gone, it's something that um, in the world, 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 world has changed, meaning that uh, we, we cannot go back good, trendy or uh, ac acceptable before we need to move forward. So my um, idea, my way of life is always see that's out there, see what is in front of you, not what is behind you. Of course, you will take all these good and bad things with you from your past, what it was for you, your story, it's a valuable thing. But you always want to see what is coming, what's interesting, breathtaking, things that is just just in front of you you need just yes absolutely if you had to lose one of your senses which would you choose to lose it's very challenging question um i would go with the taste because i unfortunately uh I had experience with this, with the COVID, unfortunately. Uh, and so many of our listeners now will, will say the same, unfortunately. So I survived. It was a uh, not interesting experience, not enjoyable experience at all. But I feel that I managed it. And uh, I, yeah, I go with taste. All right, then. Sounds good, I guess. Have you heard of a drink called Banana Free Che? Uh, no, this is the first. Yeah, I get that a lot from a lot of people. So yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> and uh, and uh, what it's all about. So, a uh, banana friche, it's like a milkshake slash smoothie kind of drink that uh -huh. has all the tingly sensations in the world. Oh, wow. It sounds very interesting. For me, who goes with the uh, no taste <laughs> with the previous question, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it, sounds, it sounds very interesting. I mean, <laughs> if I have to lose uh, the taste, First of all, I better to, to, to try it before I, I will lose this, my taste feeling. So thank you for heads up. You're welcome. Have you ever imagined a world that is a big, massive garden? Um, now, as you ask me, I, I clearly can imagine it. And um, yes, it's a very beautiful metaphor how you 
can envision our world and how we can associate different things with the differing plants in our world. Yes, I, I, I do. I, I can. Yes, definitely. Fantastic. Would you rather be able to breathe underwater or have an agility of a cat? Breathe underwater, for sure, because it's, a, again, it's a new world. You know, all my questions, it's something in front of you. Let's go move forward. All my move uh, from another place. I mean, I moved through three countries, uh, numerous communities, and uh, I want to explore something new. And all my questions, let's explore something new. I'm this uh, type of personality that for new things i'm excited and I, I i love enjoy new things see the world from the perspective another point of view so for sure very very breathtaking and absolutely unique world because uh, my daughter she enjoys uh, as i said animal world uh, all this all things that connected with the with the nature uh, protective of the nature and she educates me in so many ways uh, how we should treat our world and um, uh, she shared me a, a lot with me about um, fishes uh, when we were um, with the in different places with aqua aquariums and it's really breathtaking she knows a lot of about about it and uh, if I can actually see myself everything it's like yes i'm in nice very good would you ever try space tourism yes if i have this chance and possibility to see the world just from there and not only the world a new world space yes definitely Fabulous. How did you spend your last birthday? Oh, it's a very interesting story. It was a very interesting adventure for our family. Uh, I took my kids and my husband and we spent an uh, amazing staycation in um, Washington, D.C. It's not for, so far from our home. What was very interesting in that uh, specific trip uh, because, uh, of course, we enjoy views, we enjoy Washington. And uh, my kids, they when we, they were in the room, they watched some cartoons, and they were about um, octopus. And uh, I thought, okay, I, I need to show my kids a real-time octopus, as my son said, the real-time octopus, mom, can you imagine? And uh, I said, yes, I can imagine. And actually, I, sh I, I need to show you real-time <laughs> octopus and we went to a fish market uh, near there in dc it's a very beautiful place and they actually see how it how it's uh, what is natural octopus looks like how it smells like and it was very uh, interesting adventure for us um it's not uh, it was a uh, not a cartoon but real time story and till now uh we have some our family yeah. remember mom your birthday it was an octopus time <laughs> so it was very enjoyable experience for our family mm, very nice and that is all we have for this episode it's great having you on ilona talking about your life living in the art near the Arctic Pole, moving to the US and uh, working with content marketing and social media, everything else. It's been great. Oh, thank you, Peter. It was a very enjoyable conversations, uh, conversation and I do love again and appreciate your questions. They are very unusual. They are very, mm, they are very curious and provoking again in the very bad way and it helps me even to understand things about myself so i 
thank you so much for having me, for asking me this amazing question. You're welcome. And until next time, stay tuned for more.